got today is a 32 19 Skyjack Susan Bowl. And now, what's going on here? The customer states that the machine does not drive on the ground, but it's like perfectly fine in the air. So, let's do a quick troubleshooting here and see what we got going on. So, we'll get this control box here. We're going to go ahead and put the e stop up, try to drive it, put it down to drive. Sure enough, nothing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and switch the toggle switch over to up. Pick the unit up. It goes up as it should. Good, good. Now we're going to switch it over to drive here. Okay, sure enough, we have drive. Go back down now. See, we we'll troubleshoot the issue here. One or two things that can go wrong with this unit, based on my other videos, of course, a common issue that you would want to come and check is your pothole switch. This last limit switch is down here. Now, you do have two located on each side. Uh, if I could get my partner here to move that camera over a little bit, you have one right here that'll put it, and you have one on the other side. Now, the thing with Skyjack here is it also has a limit switch down at the rocker room, and I'll show you where that switch is at. And this is what gets the clients, and now you get the clients that'll sabotage it on purpose, because if you know what you do, you can't get this unit to drive fast in the air. But that is a safety fault, and we are not gonna do that. So what <laughs> we got here, so as I was saying here, down at the rocker arm, you'll notice you have another limit switch. And here's where a lot of customers seem to miss it. And here's your LS1B. Now, as you can see, you got your limit switch closed here. It is pushed in. So this rocker arm has been readjusted and messed with. That is not how we want it. What we want it is at the ground position, we need it to be open. So what you want to do is you want to grab a nice little key Allen, give you a nice little spin there. There we go, get it loose. So now that we got our rocker alarm arm here loose and we got the limit switch open, what you want to do is you want to kind of move it out the side just so you can better see your limit switch there. Now you want to make sure it clicks perfect so it's working as it should. Now what you want to do is, you see this little rivet here? And that's what we're going to go based off our centimeters. And when I say that, I mean we're going to bring it down where your, both of your sh bolts are showing. Move it in, swing it, and when you hear that click, you want to pull out a centimeter out. And now that you're a centimeter out, you want to go in with your Allen, and that's where you're adjusting it. That is the specs recommended by Skyjack. So now that we move it in there, make it a little tight, let's see what we have. So we go ahead and hit the e-stop, and now that we are readjusting our limit switch rock arm as it should be, we're going to go ahead and try our same functions. So we're here down at the ground. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all see this? Y'all see this magic? Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick it up just to make sure we still have our high drive. So now we have the lift up in the air. Look at that. Look at that. And that, my friend, is how you fix an issue with no drive on the ground, at least one issue on the Skyjack. Y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And like always, 